understand that uh, what is the order of appearing for actual examinations iei or ifa now there are 13 papers in total in your actual science you have to complete all these 13 papers in order to become a qualified fellow now here what i have started with is cm1 paper cm1 cs1 cs2 cm2 these are the four core papers which needs approximately 300 hours of study uh, time and cb1 cb2 approximately needs a study hour of 150 hours of total study duration again cp1 is somewhere around 300 hours of study sp level papers will generally need a 200 plus and sa papers will generally need 200 plus hours of study 200 to 250 hours whereas cp2 is around 75 hours cp3 is around 50 hours so these are the basic uh, study uh, timelines for all these papers so every uh, time the exam happens for ifa in the month of april and september for ia it's in uh, months of may and november so there is approximately 6 months gap between each of the terms so you can plan your uh, papers in such a manner so that you can complete all these papers as soon as possible we have made a timeline wherein in the eight terms if you are you are studying consistently let's say suppose every day if you are giving 4 hours in your college along with your college and once you have completed your graduation 2 uh, to 3 hours every day is more than enough to complete these papers so let's say suppose if you are uh, having a good 5 months of time for your preparation 4 to 5 months of preparation time so you can easily appear for cm1 paper this is excel based examination there is paper a and paper b paper b is excel and paper a is word so cm1 cs1 cs2 cm2 these have paper b as either excel or r programming cm1 and cm2 has excel cs1 and cs2 has r programming so your term 1 uh, you will start off with cm1 paper if you think that if you have 6 months approximately and you can invest more time to your studies then you can apply for cb1 or cb2 along with cm1 there are a lot of students who do this particular thing that in the first term itself this it for cb1 or cb2 along with cm1 but if it's a first term and if you want to give only one paper or maybe you just have four months of time then you can just appear for cm1 this is again it will need four hours of study every day it will be approximately 300 hours of study duration that it will need next is your cs1 next term you will appear for cs1 plus definitely cm cb1 or cb2 because if you see cs1 the syllabus is comparatively shorter compared to cm1 and also the study hours we say 200 by uh, 300 hours but it needs time less than that that is taken for cm1 so you can easily sit for cb1 or cb2 along with cm1 so even though if you have like four and a half months for your time you can easily apply for cs1 along with cb1 or cb2 so definitely you should club cs1 paper with any of these right then term 3 should be only cs2 generally we say that cs2 uh, the length of syllabus is slightly bigger and since you have appeared for cs1 so your basic statistic knowledge will be very good and you have r programming in cs2 so cs2 is complete build upon cs1 so when your cs1 knowledge is completely fresh we recommend that please go for cs2 it becomes very easy because i teach cs2 so i see students those who appear for cs1 maybe one year back and they are coming for cs2 classes they feel a little blank even when we are discussing some very basic topics they still feel a little lost because they have actually forgotten a few basic things in this one year's time so it's very very important that just after cs1 you go for cs2 there are again a lot of students who appear for cb1 or cb2 along with cs1 <coughs> along with cs2 sorry but again it's completely your discretion and we also see the student and we also guide accordingly that whether you should go for cb1 or cb2 there are some students whom i have uh, myself asked them that please go for cb1 or cb2 along with cs2 and they have managed to clear both the papers even though it was in september term which we consider comparatively a little shorter than april term and there are students who have come up 
to me asking ma'am can i please give cb1 or cb2 along with cs2 i have asked them no please just go for cs2 because i know i can see in class that how the student is performing but that's entirely up to you if you're confident then you can definitely go for cb1 or cb2 if left along with cs2 as well otherwise we prescribe uh, otherwise we suggest that please just go for cs2 then along with cm2 you can go for cb cb1 or cb2 easily because cm2 is definitely having difficult concepts but the excel part is comparatively easier and you need lesser time compared to cs2 then term 5 will entirely be your cp1 cp1 again it that's a myth that cp1 requires a lot of time but you can easily finish cp1 if you're just putting in like 2 to 3 hours every day consistently for 3 3 and a half months even though i've seen a lot of students who clear cp1 in their first attempt just sitting down for 2 and a half to 3 hours consistently for 2 and a half months i personally know such students who have done it so it's entirely up to you but cp1 can be if you have even though if you have 3 months you can still go ahead with cp1 even though you are working still cp1 is manageable yes there is one uh, disclaimer that if you have taken classes it becomes very easy if you are preparing on your own then definitely you will be needing more time maybe approximately 5 months then term 6 will be your any sp paper so if you are uh, in finance then you can go for sp5 or sp6 if you are in life then you can go for sp2 or there are some students who go for sp2 and sp5 together uh, so it in, it's entirely up to you we can have one more or uh, discussion on that uh, as to which sp paper to choose so sp paper along with cp2 cp3 now cp2 cp3 papers are very very practical based it does not require you to memorize anything it just needs practice so cp2 will be needing approximately 75 hours and cp3 approximately 50 hours of study so you don't have to, and it's all practice so you don't have to memorize so when you are studying for sp paper and sometime you feel that you need a little change you can definitely uh, practice for cp2 cp3 along with it so sp and cp2 cp3 can be clubbed together if you have good four months time with you cp sp paper needs 200 to 250 hours of study and term 7 will be your second sp paper and cp2 or cp3 term 8 again your sa paper so this is a eight term timeline that we have set uh, we have lot of students who have done this now considering there might be some unwanted situations or there might be some time you might not be able to clear your exam then we can say that plus one or plus two terms so you can easily complete your entire 13 papers in a timeline of 4 to 5 years considering you are putting in that 3 hours every day consistently you are dedicated and you are consistent with your studies discipline then you can easily become a qualified actually within 4 to 5 years if you have any further questions let us know in the description below uh thank you